Hello YouTubers, so today I'm going to be doing a video about witchcraft and um, spirituality and how this actually um, ties in in signs to know um, if you someone is using witchcraft against you um, from a spiritual perspective. Now this is going to be a video where you may find it um, being very interesting or you may have had these questions uh, presented to yourself. And depending on your spirituality and your belief system, a lot of people come from a religious background so they may believe that witchcraft is possible or witchcraft does exist. Um, but my video will go into more detail on how to know if someone is using witchcraft against you um, and how to protect yourself from that um, using, you know, nothing but your own um, light, energy, and prayer to God and, and spirits, your angels, your guardian angels. Um, so I will start off by saying that um, when we hear the words um, witchcraft, a lot of people think that this is something that's more fairy tales or something that is made up and it's the something that doesn't exist but I've read a lot of books I've done a lot of research on the topic and so um, I'm not a person who does witchcraft so I, I can't give you every single um, aspect of exactly you know what it entails or what they do but I will give you an overall general idea of um, some of the things they, that that um, witches who use black magic or dark magic um, do to hurt someone and um, how again how you can protect yourself and how to recognize if someone is using this um, against you so I will start off with um, on the topic of, of witchcraft in general and what is witchcraft um, a lot of people think that you know this is just um, someone who is a dark witch is a person who has a a black co a conical hat and dresses all in black and has green skin and has a wart um, but that's not what um, a witch is. Um, witches can be male or female um, and they can be like anybody else that you know it could be just a regular person that you work with they work you know they have day jobs they look ordinary um, but beyond that you know beyond the the facade that they put on um, they typically um, you know are involved in in witchcraft at some point or they do it now there's not there's a good witch there's white magic and there's black magic so there is a difference you know there are people who are good witches and mainly work with the elements um, they work with um, the universe to bring balance and harmony and peace and their their whole goal is not to hurt other people but then there are witches who use witchcraft and they hide behind closed doors attacking other people um, you know to cause inflict pain um, in, inflict some kind of uh, bad luck on them I will not use the word um, curse because I don't believe in curses and like I've said in previous videos before um, and there is a difference you know um, about uh, black magic in general um, and how they use it so is this is not necessarily um, that they do all black magic uh, or are all dark witches do cur uh, curses but um, some of the signs for you to look out to know if you've been um, you know someone is using dark magic or magic against you in some kind of way um, there are several things the first thing that you'll notice is that you tend to have nightmares when let's say you are a person who no longer who's never had nightmares or rarely has you know any kind of dreams you will start noticing that um, you will have like a, a tendency to um, have some darker dreams that you cannot understand or you may not understand exactly what they are but they're darker in nature this usually is someone um, you know it could be a, um, a loss in the in the dreams you know a lost loved one someone you know perishes in the dream or it could be someone where they're attacking you um, you may start having um, these nightmares where um, you know people in your family who are next to your bedroom or um, sleep close to you may start hearing you scream or talk in your dreams um, so these are the things that you need to look out on um, as well you know a lot of people will say well you know it's typically normal to have nightmares but that is not the case if someone is doing witchcraft to you um, and the dreams are, are darker in nature and you've never had these dreams before it's a possibility a strong possibility that they are using witchcraft against you if you are a psychic or a medium and you're um, someone who is very in tune with it um, in tune with yourself um, you may actually be awake in awakened state and you may see visions of people um, I know this has um, happened to myself um, in a in awake state I did see someone actually use a poppet and this is a little doll that they use and they were sticking pins in the doll from their house and I um, somehow my um, I had a vision of this through using my uh, clairvoyance and it just popped in and I couldn't control it. it wasn't like I was trying to spy 
or tune in, but I know that these people were actually using a poppet um, because I actually did see it with my own two eyes. So if you are psychic or medium, you may actually see that for yourself. Um, you may have an abrupt vision of someone using their altar because a lot of the, the witches that do dark magic, um, they do have an altar. And usually it's like a, an altar is just like if you're a Catholic or you go into a Catholic church. Um, and I'm just using that as an example, um, not because I wanted to select that religion for the topic of this video. But, you know, if you're a Catholic or you've been to a Catholic church or any church in, in all, that most of them have altars. And the altars is like, um, you know, a special place where, you know, there's statues and people lay candles on. Well, this is similar to what witches that use dark magic will use. They use an altar. Uh, an altar. They usually have some um, crystals on the altar. They may use candles. In most cases, when they're using dark magic, they'll work with black candles and red candles. Um, but they may vary eight and use different candles, different colors, depending on what kind of spell um, they're using or what kind of witchcraft they are, are working on. They usually use a, a, a mirror and they may scry on the mirror. Um, using, they may use a mirror that is um, spray painted black um, and they have that on the altar. They may also have a lot of skulls, uh, human skulls, but um, not actual human skulls. These would be replicas like um, statues, crystals, things of that nature. Um, and then they typically have photographs of the person that they're, um, who would be their target. And so what they're doing um, with this, uh, this um, information, you know, what, what they have, the photographs, they're essentially throwing mal uh, malintent into that person. So they miss, not necessarily, they may not use a poppet in all cases, but in some cases, depending on what spell they're using, they may actually have a poppet. And that poppet, is, again, is a doll um, who, it may have some piece of your hair that they've obtained. Um, these people are very twisted. And um, I, I say that because not everyone is working in the light. And if you are, um, you know, a witch out there tuning into this video and you are doing malintent, I do believe in karma and I do believe in the, in the you know, the fates. What you do comes threefold back to you. So, um, but that being uh, pushed aside, you know, going back to the topic, they typically um, have a lot of, you know, um, an altar and they um, operate more in the nocturnal. They wait until you go to sleep to do this, but that's not, not always the case. They can do it during the daytime, but you have to think about it. If the, someone is using dark magic against you, they're going to do it in the dark time and nighttime because they're drawing upon the darkness, not the light. When you think of daylight, it's the light. While nighttime is, I'm not saying nighttime is evil and negative, it's almost symbolic in nature. So that's why the reason that they would do this when you're asleep or while you're, um, you know, in, at nighttime. And usually they, you know, do it between the hours of 12 midnight all the way to like 3. Again, this is the witching hour, so they would do it around that time as well. Um, and so that's how a lot of people have nightmares, going back to the topic of nightmares and um, bad dreams where you didn't have it because they're doing it during the time that you would typically be a normal person, you know, or a person that is on a, um, a certain rhythm of, um, you know, sleep patterns would be asleep. So um, they'll use this, um, these, you know, and it's not so much that they'll, they're speaking words. They could have the poppet in their hand with a piece of your hair and they're poking it with some pins and they're throwing bad intent into, um, into that doll, which would represent you. So you may start feeling pain. So again, if someone is doing witchcraft on you, you may have sudden pains that you didn't have before where you're typically normal. You know, you've had, let's say you've had a medical checkup and you're perfectly healthy and the doctors don't find anything, but you still are plagued with some kind of health concerns, some kind of pains. Um, this would be a witch that is, um, you know, doing magic against you. Um, and I'm not going to say that's always going to be the case, but Again, there's more than a couple of things that I'm going to cover that is going to give you a little bit more. And if you start saying, you know, oh, this checks off, this checks off, this checks off, then again, it's a very pot strong possibility that someone is um, using witch witchcraft against you and it would be dark magic. Um, another thing that you may start noticing is that there's a lot of infestation around your household. Um, now, when witches are using um, dark magic, they they don't have to have they don't have the power to do it themselves. So what they're doing typically is they're using they're calling upon um, 
depending if they're using necromancy, which is a, a totally different subject, they're using the dead, they're using spirits, they're using um, earthbound spirits that are stuck here on the physical world to draw on their their um, their energy and to use it for their spells so that they can cause um, pain to you or inflict it to you. Um, they also can call upon demons, and this would be someone you know they call as a familiar, um, which is basically a demon that they have called upon to do um, their bidding. Um, and they had to do some kind of sacrifice in the in the meantime, you know, whether it was, you know, an animal that they had to sacrifice or etc. Um, something that they've done to um, send that bad energy your way. So um, typically, you know, when they are working with that, that's what they do. You know, they're not always using um, spell books or words or an incantation. Um, so to speak, to do their bidding or do their um, their harm, you know, to you. They're doing different things. Um, they could also, um, if it's during the daytime, you know, and it's someone that lives in your neighborhood that is doing this to you, um, at certain times when you are walking past their house, they can start slamming or hitting things, you know, with your picture on there or with the poppet in their pocket. Um, again, this is symbolic. If you're hitting something, you're hitting a surface and you're picturing the person that you're doing it to, um, this would be a form of witchcraft as well. Um, another thing that you will start noticing is that um, you could start smelling strange odors, not sulfuric odors, but strange odors that are kind of pungent or not, you know, real well, um, not pleasant. Um, and you will smell them in your environment. And this is typically somebody who um, has been, um, you know, a victim of someone who is using witchcraft against them. Another thing that you may notice. Um, in this whole topic that I'm on right now is you may notice that um, you know you just feel like a presence always around you you may feel like you're being watched um, you know when you normally don't have that kind of experience or you don't feel that in your um, household so um, again think about in terms of witchcraft it's to cause pain to inflict pain on the person um, also psychologically they can um, try to put fear in you so where you let's say you were a person who was uh, very confident you know and you had the vibration of love it could now suddenly be replaced with fear and so you're fearful of things or outcomes um, you may feel like you're you know you have all kinds of symptoms and some people you know uh, may become hypo hypochondriacs um, because of that you know magic that is is going on that's being used against them um, and you know the effects of magic and how it would be um, it depends on your um, belief system and how strong you are and deeply rooted in your faith if you're someone who toggles back and forth between negative thoughts and you live your life in a negative way um, you're not going to be able to maybe you'll you'll probably feel the effects of the witchcraft that's being done to you um, a lot stronger if you are a person who's vibrating from light and love and you uh, believe in God you believe in the angels you believe in your spiritual um, guidance team you know um, you're not going to be as susceptible to um, to be an attack um, because fear feeds on um, you know fear feeds whatever is being sent your way essentially and it magnifies it and it's almost like inviting it in um, again people who have addictions and this could be addictions to cigarettes to um, alcohol you know anything that is vibrating at a lower level and that um, creates like a, a weakness within your um, your mind <coughs> um, would be something that um, could allow um, you know witchcraft to come into your life and to affect you um, and so those are the signs, you know, other signs that you could have um, if someone is doing witchcraft to you is that your jewelry could um, suddenly be breaking, you know, let's say you had a ring and the stone just popped out and you just got the ring. Um, you know, you had a uh, watch and the watch just broke on you. You have a protective crystal that you work with and the crystal breaks. You have um, a mirror and the mirror just shatters, you know. Um, there's different things that happens because a lot of it is negative energy that is in your aura that is surrounding you. It's like a, a dark cloud, but the lighter that you're bright, the brighter that your light is shining, um, the, the less, you know, impact that they're going to have. Um, on you and how they're going to affect you. So there's different um, topics and um, different, you know, different ways to know that if you're being affected by witchcraft. Um, other things that you're going to be um, noticing if there are um, 
you know, doing this to you is that you're going to be noticing that um, pets, if you have any pets, they will be sensitive and they may start barking. They may start um, howling in the middle of the night. They may be afraid to go into a certain area because typically a witch who is using dark magic or using black magic um, against someone, they have invoked on a demon and the demon has been sent your way. Um, but again, the demon cannot stay in your presence or in your surrounding, but maybe through the outside of your house. <clears throat> and so if you have pets in your yard, you know, they may start barking or acting very weird. And again, this is all going back to the topic of, of witchcraft and how it works. And, um, you know, I don't know, um, all the, um, you know, all the things that they do, but I do know for the most part that they, they use, you know, the nighttime to do it, um, specifically, um, they do, you know, do different things. Um, it's not just a puppet. It's not just using a personal belonging. But, you know, they may ask you for a ring, um, you know, your own ring. They may ask you for, um, you know, something to borrow from you. So be very careful if someone is asking you to borrow um, something or to try it on. Um, to try on something, you know, that belongs to yourself. Um, if you know this person, you trust them, sure, that's fine. You know, if it's a family member. But if it's some random stranger and they're asking you know to try on your jewelry um, or some kind of uh, item that you have on yourself be very careful with that and if you are borrowing something to someone who you may know does you know work in with negative things um, i would not give them something personal you know that you that is your belonging because um they can work with that uh personal belonging that you have even if it's like a cd that you listen to you know it has your energy imprint imprint it on that item so it's very important for you to know um, you know you know there's a lot of different things that you're going to notice um, if there has been some kind of witchcraft used against you um, apart from what I've already described you may also start feeling um, sick from your health like I've covered that already but you will feel sick from your health um, and you may also feel like um, like there's arguments that are in, in, ensuing in your family where there was once love now there's a lot of anger and people are more fidgety um you know they may start being a lot more negative and so there's arguments within the family itself um if it's you know someone after your partner you may notice that you and your partner are bickering a lot um or there's just a lot of you know drama now how to know um how to protect yourself um a lot of times you know to protect yourself is going to be a lot of fairly simple if you are a person that like I said is vibrating at a higher level um, and you work with um, you know your angels and you believe in the divine you know you're not gonna have or find that it's gonna impact you um, at the you know the way that it it impacts other people um, but you can use a piece of black tourmaline like I have here for the intents of this video I wanted to show you what this is um, this is a chunk of black tourmaline it's a crystal, it's a protective crystal, and what it does, it protects you against um, witchcraft, negativity, psychic attack, um, and so it's a very good piece to have um, in your household. Um, if you do have it as in a jewelry piece, um, and you do suspect that maybe you are a victim of someone who's using witchcraft against you, I would suggest highly for you to get black tourmaline. Um, a good, another way to do that, um, to protect yourself, is to also um, pray to Archangel Michael to um, and all the warrior angels to um, protect you and surround you um, and I will in um, I will put a, a prayer that I um, have um, at the bottom of this video within the comments section and so you can reference that prayer um, it's a very powerful prayer to combat um, witchcraft and block it and basically you're binding the witchcraft that's being done to you so I, I believe um, highly in prayer another thing that you can do is um, hang some protective crystals around your house whatever you feel um, typically the strongest crystal is the master crystal would be a clear quartz so you can use a clear quartz and hang it um, in different parts of your house um, put it in every corner and um, you can also do a cleansing of your space um, which would you could use sage you can use Palo Santo basically you burn this is almost like an incense you could use an incense and burn that in every single room of your house um, this is to cleanse the energy cleanse all the negativity that is being sent your way. Um, another thing that you can do is use herbs. And there's people that use rosemary, um, which is very good, um, thyme, um, and, you know, um, sage. 
again sage leaves and you can use that and um, put in like in a little baggie and you know carry it with you um, these are natural herbs a lot of people use them for a protective or healing um, standpoint so there's nothing negative on that as well you can also use white salt this could be sea salt or regular table salt and you could sprinkle that all around your house as a protective barrier or um, also inside every single room um, typically targeting the four corners um, also, if you are a place that um, you live in a place that's full of clutter or dust, you may want to declutter and clean that because a lot of negative energy does tend to hide in places that are very dusty or very cluttered with a lot of objects. Um, and so, when you do cleanse these areas or these spaces, it brings a lot of light into the house. Um, also, if you typically have um, curtains and you have them um, shut, you know, or you have them with black, um, you know, black curtains, dark curtains, and there's not a lot of light in your um, in your room. I would suggest maybe replacing them with a lighter shades, like a white um, curtain, um, even though you know it's, or just open your curtains and open your windows and let the light come in to you, um, just so that you um, you know have positive energy in your space. Um, other things that you can do is to, um, depending on your religious background, you can get holy water and sprinkle that all around your house. Um, you can get a, a, a priest um, if you know you believe in that um, you can get a priest and they can come into your house and bless it for you basically doing a house um, blessing for your your house and your space and even for yourself um, and so there's just a lot of different things and I won't cover them all in this video um, that you can do but for the most part um, I just wanted to spend a couple of um, moments you know speaking to you about this subject and um, you can um, look forward to a lot more new videos that I'll be doing. Hopefully you find them very useful. Um, if you are tuning into this video and you did like it, please give it a thumbs up um, and like it. And also be sure to subscribe on the bottom right hand corner. You will see the subscribe button. And um, if you are interested in getting a reading, all my readings are on sale this month through the month of June. Um, just go to my website and the link is going to be in the description below this video. And it's www raymondguzman.net forward slash shop or if you go to www.raymondguzman.net just go to the readings section and then you'll be um, the readings tab on my website and it will take you to my reading section so I want to thank you all for tuning in and I wish you nothing but blessings and love and light thank you so much